Man, yes. with our last names, we fit right in there. Of course, <laughs> man. Cuba. Cuba. What's going on, everybody? We are back with another segment of Rappers React. Top of the morning to you, Smokey. Top of the morning there, Barringer. Barringer, I love it. Guys, before we get started, please do us a big, big, big favor. Guys, please hit that thumbs up button. Y'all, please subscribe to the channel. And for God's sake, leave us a comment and tell us what to react to next, because that's how we get the ideas for these videos. It comes directly from you right down in the comment section. And today... Today, man, this is gonna be fun. Now, I put out a post uh, a few days back, mm -hmm. and I wanted to get the trash talkers' opinions because we wanted to do some Irish oriented music, some Irish punk, if you will. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And I, some of the people were like, hey, um, these bands are not really from Ireland. Yes, we get that. I actually put up four bands there that are from around the entire world, but they're all Irish based music. You gotcha. know what I'm saying? Gotcha. And I put up a, a couple from Boston, you know, one of them from Germany, one from England, one from Australia. Mm -hmm. But overwhelmingly, they picked Dropkick Murphys. Dropkick Murphys. Now, me and Smoke Dog both having Irish in our blood. Mm -hmm. We, I don't think me and you are really well versed on the Irish music exactly and that's you, why we wanted to get into this exactly that's why yes. i'm glad you know Smokey. he put out the post because you know we we know our heritage we know where we come from but we want to find out some more of that mm -hmm. music you know exactly because i mean we're straight americans obviously of course. but uh, both of us on our father's side yes are of irish descent absolutely absolutely um now something drop kick murphy's Mm -hmm. Love that name. Yes. Don't know why, but if I see Murphy, I'm drop kicking him. You know what? I um, drop kick Murphy was an old Irish wrestler. I knew it had something to do with wrestling. Yep. I knew it exactly. Way back in the day, yeah, too, man. Back, uh, he was a. I I, I want to say, I may be wrong because of course I'm not old enough to ever have watched. Dropkick Murphy Smokey, wrestle. Don't you lie to these people. I mean, I am 427 years <laughs> old or whatever you said. <laughs> but maybe he's, you know, he was around 429 years gotcha, ago, you know, gotcha. and that was the problem there. But, but yeah, uh, I don't, um, I don't know for sure if he was an American of Irish descent or if he was straight from Ireland. And but he was he a was, wrestler. Yes, he was an Irish pro wrestler back in the day. WWF. No, no, I think this was back during the territories, like way back in the day. Hmm. What's the territories? Oh, well, back before TV set in, you know, um, these promoters would go to different cities around the country and set up shop and have their own wrestling organization. You know, their own champion for that organization. Like Rocky Mountain Wrestling or something yeah, like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you would have Mid-South Wrestling or the USWA <laughs> or, uh, you know... Um, What's another one? Memphis was a good one. We're going to create one called the TTW. <clears throat> the TTW. Trash, Trash Talker talk wrestling. wrestling. Yes, sir. Hey, if we got any pro wrestlers in the comments, hit us up and let us know because right. we'll talk some wrestling. Well, man, look, football, wrestling, MMA, mm -hmm. that's that we we oh, love yeah. music, but I would say sports would probably be our, be our second love. Yeah, passion. second love right there, man. Video games is a close one for me yeah. right there, you know. Oh, yeah. But... Dropkick Murphys. What's the name of the song? Shipping up to Boston. Oh wow! See, when you hear Boston, I mean, mm -hmm. you think Irish, right? Yeah, I mean, I mean the, uh, many, many Irish settlers settled settled in Boston. Hmm. You know, uh, there was just a, a mass exodus. And correct me if I'm wrong, because I don't know all about this, but uh, it might have been the potato famine that pushed them over. Really? Something like that. But yeah, um, I'm gonna have to call my grandma and talk to her. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> I need to do that too. But what do you mean the potato famine? Like it was a. Yeah, I mean, like I said, you know, I haven't studied too much on it, but there was a potato famine in Ireland at one time, and 
uh, basically like a dust bowl, you know, or something like that, where, you know, people were hungry. So really? they started moving out, moving to the new world, you know. All right, here's a question for you. If there's a potato, if potatoes don't have seeds. They're roots. So how would you grow a potato? Like You take a potato. You ever saw a potato start to grow eyes? Yes. Oh. You can cut that potato up wherever it's growing an eye. You could take one potato and it's got like 10 different eyes growing out. You can cut it up and make 10 different plants and grow more gotcha. out of it. If y'all don't know, Smokey is a farmer. If, <laughs> if y'all haven't noticed, his thumb is green. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I, I ain't going to show you right now, but trust me, it's green. Yeah, this guy, look, Smokey has a farm. This dude bought me over. I'm going to have to post a picture of it somewhere. <laughs> I'll, I'll post it on my Instagram. But Smokey bought me a freaking cucumber mm -hmm. that was the size of my farm forearm <laughs> and he was like hey man you want a cucumber i'm thinking he's gonna bring over a nice little packaged walmart size cucumber he, had, <laughs> he pulls in my freaking front yard with a, a u-haul truck and a dolly he's like anybody order a cucumber i'm like what the heck bro Jeez. That was a giant cucumber, man. That thing was ginormous, man. <laughs> It'll feed a family of five right there. For real. Smoke up! What up? Let's get into it. Let's do it. I'm shipping up to Boston. Shout out Mark Higgins. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Uh-huh. Yes. Yeah. You hear bagpipes, you know it's on. Great, dude. Wasn't it? Mm. I want to point out, if you guys have never been to Boston, mm -hmm. go. Oh, yeah, it's great. Beautiful city. It is. Sometimes it can be cold as all get out, mm -hmm. but the food is amazing. The culture is great. You oh, know, yeah. Welcoming people. Um, I want to is it the comedian Bill Burr? Boston? Yes, he is. And I want to say Irish. he's of Irish descent. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah. Man, Man, yes. with our last names, we fit right in there. Of course, <laughs> man. You know, something else, dude. It's like, when you see... What year would you say this came out? Mm, good question. Uh, I want to say early, mid-2000s. I don't, I don't know for sure, but... Around that era? Yeah. Okay, so is it me, or is it the second you hear bagpipes, the first thing you think of is just Ireland? Oh, yeah. Ireland, Scotland, the whole Scotch-Irish. Yeah. 
uh, the accordions, you know. Yes. The, the fiddles, as you would say in Irish rather than violins. <laughs> you know, so. I, I feel like in the South, we've adopted the fiddle as one of our instruments. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, bluegrass came from Irish folk music. Really? Yes. The banjos, the... The, the, the whistles, you know, like the slide whistles and all that. Yeah. yeah. The recorder, you know. Man. All that came from Irish folk. It's just amazing how much culture from all over the world can impact everywhere. Mm-hmm. It really is. And real quick, can I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk a little controversial here. Mm-hmm. You know how some people say culture appropriation mm-hmm. is kind of a bad thing. I disagree with that. Mm-hmm. The reason I say that is because there wouldn't be almost anything if if people didn't appropriate other cultures. And what I mean by that is like, you know, food example. Mm-hmm. You know, some of the best food is a mix between different places. Oh, yeah. You know, you wouldn't get, you know, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't a mix between two different races. Yeah, exactly. It's, I, I really feel like that pushes the human race further you know yeah. if, you, if you take this from here take that from there put exactly. it together and america's I mean, a melting pot yeah, yeah that's what i was about to say that's what america is a big melting pot of different cultures you know that's why the whole cultural appropriation thing is kind of ridiculous you I know agree. like people get mad like oh these white kids with dreadlocks you know but you know the, before the caribbeans had dreadlocks the vikings had yes. dreadlocks so you know nothing is really new nothing in the in the world like no culture is this day and age inventing something that hasn't been taken from a different culture somewhere else right even you know wearing metal in your teeth like gold teeth Mm -hmm. platinum teeth pirates were doing that (laughs) forever dude in the 1400s forever Uh i mean if i'm not mistaken you know king tut i think king tut was walking around with a bling bling all in his mouth i bet he was yeah i mean what i'm getting at here is just you take things from here and there and you put them together and you create amazingness Mm -hmm. that's how i look at it man yeah exactly well and having said that i know we have some irish trash talkers watching if you guys have some really good suggestions for some genuine irish music straight from ireland we would love to cover that yes one of my favorite songs zombie by the cranberries oh yeah great song they're they're irish yes also I could be wrong, but you know Sinead O'Connell? Yes, that she's Irish. Nothing compares. She's mm-hmm. Irish, right? Yes. That It's just... I, I, it you might, too, right? You too, yeah. yeah. It's just something about... And it could it could just be in our, DNA, in our DNA that we just hear it. Our brain automatically knows, hey, this is your heritage. This is your background mm-hmm. of some sort. So, enjoy. Exactly. And that's the way we feel when we hear anything of Irish oriented or like we were talking about the viking music you know what i'm saying there's something primal in there but i mean you know a lot of the vikings spread out through the entire world right you know and they they were in ireland right they were in north america you know they took over a lot of lands Agreed. so you know it's something primal when you hear things like that you know let me ask it goes you back this. to your roots where did where did the term fighting irish or the irish like to fight where do you think that comes from because it, well the the american settlers um uh, one of the biggest ones was john cowan he was oh what's your last name no i'm sorry john cowan that that was the guy who settled my family it was john sullivan mm, i was about to say <laughs> although john cowan apparently handled himself in a wrestling ring but um <clears throat> john sullivan was one of the biggest boxers of that time you know and a lot of boxers uh, that were huge in that time uh, you know in the early late 1800s early 1900s you know the best boxers in the world at that time were the Irish and the Italians yeah you know the Jack Dempsey's and guys like that you know yeah and yeah I mean I mean, it's 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 a symptom of being in an oppressed culture. Mm, you know what I'm saying? Just fighting your way out of it. Exactly. Okay. And uh, uh, piggybacking off of what you're saying, them being some of the best fighters, mm-hmm. love them or hate them, Conor McGregor is. Oh well, yeah. I mean, one of the, the best, best fighters in the world. Also, speaking of boxing, you know, Conor McGregor is of Irish descent. He went against, argue, arguably, 
I say that word. Argu- arguably. Arguably the greatest boxer of all time. Mm-hmm. Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. A guy that has never fought in a boxing ring in his entire life. Mm-hmm. One, I want to say three or four rounds against one of the greatest boxers of all time. Mm-hmm. You have to give that respect. A guy who had never fought professionally. professionally of course he boxing. sparred and yeah. you know had some amateur things. But yeah, he had never fought professionally. Yeah. Went in there and held his own with him for ten rounds. Man, it's just... Hey, mm-hmm. we love it. Oh, yeah. Guys... Thank y'all for voting on the poll. Uh, any, Like he said, if y'all got any more great Irish straight from Ireland, Scotch, you mm-hmm. know. We let, can do the Dubliners or something like yes, that. Yeah. Y'all send them over, please. Oh, yeah. Guys, my name is Farringer Hollywood Six Bar. I am Larry Smokey Ramirez Cowan. And we are over and out. Deuces. Deuces. I want to thank you guys for tuning in to Rappers React today. If you want to see another artist that we covered, it's right over here. If you want to see the last video we did, it's right over here. Thank you guys for tuning in. We do this for you. Please go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you will. Give us a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next one. Deuces.